Today we are going to make a 12 volt 24H lithium ferrophosphate battery pack. This is the battery we are going to use in this battery pack. I have bought this battery a bit back and now only we are going to use this one. This is 3.2 volt and 6000 milliH or 6 ampere. For making a 24H battery, we require 16 batteries of 3.2 volt. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 batteries uh, connect, we will be connecting in series to form a 12 volt and another 4 batteries we will connect in series. And again we will connect 4 more batteries and finally the other, other 4 batteries will also be connected in series. And we will connect uh, everything in parallel to form a 24H battery. We will be connecting all these batteries in this BMS. BMS. This is a 20 ampere BMS. This is enough because we are our battery pack is 24H and safely we can use 20 ampere BMS in this battery pack. This BMS is forest type which is used for the lithium ferrophosphate battery pack. We can pull 20 ampere from this battery pack. So this battery pack can be safely used in a UPS system. While assembling the battery, we will be using this type of uh, battery holders for uh, fixing the batteries. So this type of holders will act as a good spacer between the batteries. And also the battery pack will be having an elegant look. These type of holders are available as pairs. You need two holders to lock two batteries completely. That is bottom and top. You need 16 holders to make this battery pack. I have told you earlier that these are available as pairs. I have already joined these pairs as a pack. I will show you how to detach these things. By sliding into one side, we can detach each battery holders. We can, uh, we can join any number of holders together to form a very huge battery pack. This battery holder is of type 32700. Uh, if you are using a lithium-ion battery of 18650, you can buy, uh, buy a battery holder of type 18650. I do not have a spot welding machine with me. So I will be soldering the uh, wires in this battery pack. Before soldering, we have to clean the surface of this uh, battery terminals. It is a very tedious job to clean the surface of the battery terminals using a knife like this. But I will give you a simple technique uh, to clean the surface of these terminals. We can make use of this sandpaper and rub on top of this battery terminals for one or two uh, times. That is enough for cleaning the entire surface. You can see how much clean it is. By using this technique, it is very easy to clean the terminals of 16 batteries and we can solder it like this. So simple. And one more thing is the area of the soldering point is very small. For that, uh, you can uh, you have to make use of this kind of a soldering iron which is having pencil point type. Do not use a soldering iron of this kind which is having very, very uh, large area. While soldering, do not give more heat to the battery terminals, which will affect the lifespan of the battery. If you are using a spot welding there, also heat is generating because it's, it, it is actually welding the nickel plate to the battery. Welding means uh, melting. So there also heat is generating. So the, but the area of heat is very less, except pencil point type. This is how we are connecting the batteries for a 12 ampere. You can see eight batteries we are connecting, uh, connected, and we will be connecting or this layer uh, as a series. So this this is a positive thing. This is connected to then this negative thing, and this negative thing is connected to this positive, and then uh, this uh, this the whole that row will act as a 12 volt battery. Similar thing we will happen. Uh, we will be doing it in the bottom side, and we will parallelly connect each positive together, negative together, positive together, and negative together to form a 12 ampere thing. So four batteries in series to form a 12 volt and the next uh, other another four batteries to uh, form a seri uh, series thing and then we will parallelly connect each batteries to form a uh, to increase the ampere so serial uh, when you are connecting uh, the batteries in serial the ampere will be same but the ba voltage will be uh, added and if you are connecting the batteries in parallel the voltage will be same and the ampere will be added so we will be using this parallel technique and serial technique to work together to build a, a, a battery pack with any number of voltage and any number of ampere. While fixing the battery holder, you, you can see a notch in uh, here. This notch need to be in one, one side. Do not mix it together, otherwise you cannot uh, okay, insert this holder to the, uh, to the battery ends.
have successfully wired the one side of the battery pack these four batteries we have connected in parallel and all, all batteries are connected in parallel and uh, we have connected the center two batteries as serial and the uh, left leftmost side is the negative terminal and the rightmost terminal is the positive terminal of the battery pack here also we need to connect a wire that we will connect later also at the opposite side of the battery pack there also we need some painting wires to be connected we will fix those wires later this is the bms we are going to connect to this battery pack this is a 20 ampere bms that that is specifically built for lithium ferrophosphate this is the this bms is of forest type and maximum ampere we can uh, draw from this uh, bms is 20 ampere this is the thermistor and we will attach this thermistor in any of the battery. Technically speaking, we need 16 thermistors that need to be attached to 16 batteries of this battery pack. While charging, if any of the battery temperature is increasing, then the thermistor will sense it and BMS will stop charging and thus protecting the battery pack from exploding.
battery pack is almost complete. Now we need to pack it inside uh, somewhere. This was my old 12 volt 15 AH lithium ferro battery pack. We dismantled this and made a 12 volt 30 AH lithium ferro battery pack. The 30 AH battery pack is unable to insert into this box. So what I am planning is the 24 AH battery pack that we have just made, we will insert that into this box. This is a solid metal box and our battery pack will be safe inside this box. I am not quite sure whether we can insert this battery pack into this uh, metal box. This is because the size of the battery pack has slightly increased after wrapping it using the barley paper. Our battery pack has completed, the only pending task to be done is to fix these four screw. Either we have to fix a screw or we have to rewrite it. I believe this video was very much helpful for you to make a lithium ferrophosphate battery pack. If yes, then please click like button and also share this to your friend. If you have any doubt or suggestions related to this video, then please comment under this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then. Goodbye and please take care.